when when it's reacting or setting, you're not pushing. I'm not trying to achieve. I'm not trying to be the responsible. I'm not trying to accomplish. I'm not trying to be ambitious. I'm responding to the situations around me. I'm responding to the authority around me. I'm responding to um, to to discipline. Her. It's like I'm defensive about responding to other people, but I'm listening and I'm reacting based on what orders come in. So this instigative ambition and the reactive, um, it could be called an ambition, but it's being efficient, aligning properly. I'm gonna help, I'll do something. I'm not gonna make a mess, of, I'll, I'll react. This needs to be done, okay, I'll, I'll do it. It needs to be done. The needs to be done and seeing what needs to be done is kind of like a setting Saturn. The rising is, I wanna make this happen. I'm gonna do this. It needs to, what I wanna do is supposed to fit in somewhere. What I wanna accomplish or negatively, well, I'd say negatively. Oh, geez. I come out of an abusive home situation and get knocked, a lot, knocked around. When I went into teachers at school, I would get abuse. I would get strapped at school. I get strapped at school. I go home. I get beat up at home for getting strapped at school. So one thing leads to another. But I just was going to school trying to do that. Like, I mean, I got punished for the stupidest things that weren't fair. I ran into bad authority figures. But maybe that's karma from another lifetime or something. But even so, I still had to learn how to get past them, around them, or away from them, and how to accomplish things myself. When I was in grade one, two, and three, the, no, six and seven, the, the, the music teachers wouldn't let me sing. They wouldn't let me be in the class. I had 100% marks in theory. They wouldn't let me sing. They thought I was a horrible, I was a frog. And it was an inhibition all my life. But... In the end, I built an instrument, I, I learned drumming, I became a musician, almost to prove them wrong. I can do this. Like my rising side, I had to do it. It wasn't necessarily practical, but it was something, it was in me, I had to deal with it. So here's a question, I'm pushing the limit, I'm running into disciplines, and then I'm having to prove that I'm justified in rising. It's not reacting, get when you're reacting, you've done a good job and somebody reacts to you, you get paid well, you get line, you get the benefits, the perks, you get the, Thing. Or if it's negative, you're reacting to the negative things around you. How can I do things? So one is listening more. The setting side probably listen better than the rising side. Um, but it's hard. It's because we don't normally think of self-discipline, responsibility, practical voice, practical sense. We don't normally think of this as a function like an arm or an arm or a head or a leg, or so, but it is a function. It's a very primary function that we all need to have. We need to know when to put on the brakes. Whoa. It's really hard to drive the speed limit. As soon as you're late and you're hurry, guess what? You're going to put the gas on. You're going to try and get there faster. As soon as you go to get there faster, Mars, you're going to run across some idiot in front of you doing exactly the speed limit, slowing you down. Then it's hard to be pleasant. You want to get past that obstacle that's in front of you, but they're doing everything exactly right. Okay, so there's all kinds of puzzles. Who's right? Who's responsible? This is Saturn. When it's rising, you're forcing your inhibitions. You're forcing things. Like Saturn and the Ascendant are in the first test might be very inhibited or very cautious, not project their personality, but they're certainly measuring what they can do or what they can't do. They're certainly carrying, they're projecting that. They may have run into valid reasons why they're inhibited but they're still going to project that inhibited personality out onto the world and have to accomplish something with it. Inhibition allows you to regroup and get things together inwardly. But if it's chronic inhibition, it prevents you from even trying outwardly. So there's always a challenge of work and making a right effort and making and taking time to make the effort of being prepared. If something happens, okay, you got a problem, you got a challenge, how do you deal with it? How do you fix it? What's the plan? How do you be responsible around this? How do you remove it? Who cares if it takes so long, a long time? Will you do it? You know, so taking on responsibility, so the Saturn rising will project to think I got to take on this responsibility and they'll get their positive, their respect or honor from doing things or they're dishonored from not doing things. 
someone's setting with the Saturn setting, they're not projecting their responsibility, they're reacting to be responsible. I'll prove I can line this up with you. I can react and work with this. So the repercussions of, of what you're doing, the effects the system being with you or against you, that Saturn setting will go from the midheaven down to your eyes. I'm living okay, I'm being responsible. I I'm taking it in, what I'm doing. But the rising isn't taking it in, it's putting it out. I don't know if I can explain this much better. It'll come in, it's an outer planet. It's not as personal as the inner ones, but you can see the effect. The challenge is to be disciplined, to get responsible, and to work harder at any place that Saturn is. Saturn's in my 12th house. I've accomplished way more because of enemies and people that have been mean to me than I did from people that have been nice to me, simply because I wasn't prepared to give up and surrender to those people. I had to get past that. And sometimes I've gone through many years and that person's finally died and that obstacle has been removed. Of course, my time will come too. So, okay, let's just stay, keep going along this, but just as you're projecting these complexes, Saturn can be a lot of complexes, but not complexes are all bad. It's just, it's where you're tied up, where you're defensive, where you're restrictive, where you're restrained, where you're disciplined, where you're practical, where you're not going to go beyond limits, where you have breaks going on. So duty, responsibility, authority, these all fit into Saturn. What have you done with your time? What are you doing with your time? Did you accomplish something? Did you not? They let me go with the job. Why? I guess I wasn't as responsible as other people. Other people have more seniority. Saturn. Okay. Above or below the horizon. Our social functional world. So first, where do you have troubles? Is your problems? Is your need for discipline? Are your depressions and your, and your inhibitions, are they social functional? Or are they subjective and personal? I mean, these are the things that have you have to be able to see to, to anchor your chart, be sure your time is right. So, so each planet's going to be in its half, and you got to be able to see, yeah, it's kind of more like this than that. And you get more sensitized to it. The work, work the way I teach, and you've got the worksheets and you're going through it, I make sure you do all this work and making, all, making a personal connection to every factor so that by the time you get to interpreting charts, you're never afraid to do that. You're never just winging it. You know how to think deeply and in depth. Then astrology just opens up and becomes yours. So this is my way of teaching, but whoops, where are we here? Okay, so Saturn, uh, when it's above the horizon, your problems and your ambitions and your restrictions and your work is out, of, uh, out in the world around you. Not so much at home. It's how do I it's it's how do I get out of the home to get my own authority? And how do I maintain that authority around people, around friends, around, in partnerships, in relations? Who's responsible? How do I be responsible with others? And just because Saturn's above there, it doesn't mean you're going to be responsible, but it means you're supposed to be. And if you're not being responsible and Saturn's above, other people will limit your life. You'll be limited in your functional participation in the world around you. When Saturn's below the horizon, it's in your subjective personal world. There's something in yourself that you feel is inhibited. I'm not good enough to get out there. Something's missing. I'm not ready to be out there. I'm problems in myself. I can't go out and relate. It's more inhibited. But then the work is to make yourself deeper, to accomplish personal things, to get educated, to be able to perform properly, to build up skills so that you are responsible, that you have something you can do that's good. And that then maybe you can perform a lot of performers, a lot of writers, a lot of teachers while they're sat in below. No one out there is listening to me, but I know what I'm talking about. So I'll get a job where I'm using my expression and my personal depth. But first I have to fix that. You know, so it's it's not a restriction having sat in the below or above. Most of the astrology interpretations are done with Saturn, done about career and status and where we're out in the world. It puts the accentuation on career and status and the kings and the emperors, not so much on your depth, but 
I think sad and blow to having to work on yourself and take the time to be have personal disciplines. You know, like they create deeper, a, a greater depth. You know, it's um, so. It, but sad and below, someone could want to work and stay within their own personal world, and they may not want to go out and work and be so ambitious that they're fitting in everywhere. Because they're going to have a disassociation to what has to be done out there. They've got to fit, work on themselves to begin with. But when it's above, I don't want to have to work on myself. I want to be in the position. I want to get up there. I don't have to work. I want to solve the puzzles out in the world and do what's practical to get the position. So this, the basic category of the houses, of the subject of half of your life, the objective, half we've been expanding this all, all as we go along with each of the planets reinforcing this. Well, which side is Saturn taking? Where is, where is the law of karma and justice going to come that lets you see your limits on what you can do? Wow. If you got Saturn down in the IC in the third house or fourth house, your limits came from your own home and family. And you're going to have to fix that before you're going to go out there. But by the time you fix it, and you do go out, it may take time, but you'll be able to function, but you won't want be inclined to want to be the politician or anything. You wouldn't want to get pulled into a lot of things that are normal, functional factors. doesn't mean you're dysfunctional. You're capable of being functional as long as it maintains your personal world. But there are people who are being functional that aren't necessarily maintaining a personal world, but they're maintaining a social functional world, seemingly so. The whole idea is to be all of it. Saturn's just saying, well, look, here's where you have to work. Here's where you're going to run into difficulties. Here's where there's some delays and some challenges where you have to be specially disciplined or, ser or serious. You have to be prepared. So I'm just taking the word associations from Saturn, putting them in these areas, and taking some time to relate them so it's real. But this real is the texture of it. Like, I made up... As soon as I've said the things I've said, I could spend an hour on any one of these categories and really embellish it, but I'm, I think I haven't done enough. What have I done? It's not clear enough. But as you work your own, you'll see this. And it grows as you do people's charts, as you get older. But irresponsibility, not being responsible, not being respectable, dishonor rather than honor, these are all cause failures of accomplishment. They can be huge failures once you've had a failure. If your family split up because you weren't doing anything and you're, you're a parent but you're not around your kids, you can go on another life but it's going to bug you. Hard lesson. Because not only have you lost your close relationships with your kids, your parents have also lost the relationship to their grandkids. Well, it goes on. So being responsible, yeah, who wants to be it, yeah. But really, the set is giving you a hint of how to be disciplined and how to work at things. So I learned with Saturn in my 12th house, the house of self-defeat and isolation, that I had to work on things even if people said you can't do it. I couldn't take their word for it. I have to go do what I have to do myself. Even if men walking off a job or turning down other responsibilities. You know, like... When I was five years old in my first month of school, I'm not sure when it was in that first month of school, somewhere in there, I got scrapped for kissing a girl. I said, at five years old, some 40-year-old guy took it on himself to take the scrap and beat me because I kissed a friend. Whoa. And there was no repercussions to that. It would be arrested today, but I still had to grow up through that. Okay.